Hey everyone and welcome back to reception. In the previous video, we learned about pulley and its mechanism. In this video, we are going to solve some numerical based on them. Do watch our previous video whose link will be on the top right corner before watching this video. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and share it with the friends. So let's start with the first numerical. In the first numerical we have, a fixed pulley is driven by a 100 kg mass falling at a rate of 8 meter in 4 seconds. It lifts a load of 75 kgf. We have to calculate the power input, the efficiency and the height to which the load is raised in 4 seconds. So let us have the first part first. We have to calculate the power input. We know power equals work done by time taken and work done equals force into displacement, right? We have over here the mass, mass equals 100 kilogram. We know force equals mg, right? We have been asked to take G as 10. So the force will equal 100 into 10 equals 1000 Newton, right? Next, we have work done equal to force into displacement. So, work input will be equal to 1000 Newton, that is the force, into the displacement. We have the displacement as uh, 8 meter, right? So, it will be 1000 into 8 equals 8000 Joule. This is our work input. We need to calculate the power input, right? So, we will have power input equal to work input by time taken work input is 8000 and we have over here time as 4 seconds right so this will be cancelled to 2000 so power input equals 2000 watt this is our first answer the second part is the efficiency we know efficiency equals work output by work input. We have found the work input in the previous section. We need to find out the work output, right? So work output will equal the same thing, force into displacement. We have the load as 75 kgf, right? So the force will be what? Or the weight will be 75 into 10, that is 750 Newton according to the load right so work done will be this load 750 into displacement displacement will be same that is 8 right so 750 into 8 will be the work output right whatsoever may be the value we need not we need not to calculate it uh, the putting the value of work output as 750 into 8 divided by work input work input was 1000 into 8 Right, so 8, 8 gets cancelled, this 0 will be cancelled, so 75 by 100 will be 0 0.75. Since efficiency is a ratio of two similar quantities, thus it will not have any unit, right? So this is our efficiency, 0 0.75. The third part is the height to which the load is raised in 4 seconds, right? Number 3, so in the last problem that is in, in calculating efficiency we took the height to be 8 right so that was the height to which the load will be raised in 4 seconds so we have height equal to 8 meter since the body which which supplies the work input is displaced by 8 meters so our load will also be displaced by 8 meter in the same time so we have completed the first problem, right? Was it simple? Let us move on to the second numerical. So the second numerical is, the adjacent figure shows a fixed pulley used by a boy to lift a load of 400 Newton through a vertical height of five meter. The height to which the load is raised is five meter. The effort applied by the boy is 480 Newton. We need to calculate velocity ratio, mechanical advantage, efficiency, and there are some other questions also. So let us find the first one, the velocity ratio. Now what is velocity ratio? Velocity ratio is the ratio of displacement of effort to the displacement of load, right? So we will have displacement of effort equal to five and displacement of load is also five. So our velocity ratio will equal one, right? The second one is 
मेकेनिकल एडवांटेज ना मेकेनिकल एडवांटेज इक्वल्स लोड बाय एफर्ट राइट सो लोड इज व्हाट 400 न्यूटन एंड एफर्ट इज 480 न्यूटन राइट सो 220 ज 224 और 45 ज 46 ज 5 बाय 6 इज 0.8 86 ज 48 and uh, 2 that is 3 so 0.83 is a mechanical advantage number 3 is efficiency efficiency equals work output by work input so what is work output let us first calculate work output we have work output equal to load that is 400 newton into displacement of load that is 5 meter and we have work input equal to effort that is 480 into the displacement that is 5 so it is same as the mechanical advantage that is 0.83 right then we move on to the fourth part that is why is efficiency of the machine not 100%? We found that efficiency is 0.83, right? So if you multiply it by 100, then you get 83%. So the question is, why is the efficiency not 100%? So the answer will be, it is because the pulley has got its own weight, right? Moreover, the string used is not perfectly elastic, right? So these are the reason that is, uh, that is why the efficiency is not equal to 100%. The fifth part is energy gained by the load in 10 seconds. So energy gain will be equal to the work, right? That equals load, load, what is load value? 400 Newton into the displacement. What is the displacement? 5 meters. So 400 into 5, that will equal 2000 Joule. So this is the energy gained by the load in 10 seconds. Number six, sorry, part six power developed by the body or the boy power developed by the boy so power equal to work done by time taken so what is the work done work done will equal effort that is 480 into the displacement that is 5 and what is the time it is 10 seconds right so 10 so 48 5 is a 5 8 is a 40 0 4 5 is a 20 and 4 that is 240 and what so 240 watt is the power developed by the boy. Now the seventh part is if the effort, you can see the effort given by the boy is 480 Newton, whereas the load is 400 Newton. Thus effort is greater than load. So if we have to apply an effort which is greater than load, so why are we going to use this pulley? So the answer is very simple. We studied it earlier also that a single fixed pulley is used to change the direction of load or effort, right? In this case, we are able to apply the effort in the downward direction. That is, we can utilize our own weight also. So that is why this single fixed pulley is used. After solving two basic problems, let us move on to the third numerical. It is the diagram alongside shows the combination of two pulleys P1 and P2 used to lift a load W. We need to answer these questions. The first one is state the kind of pulleys P1 and P2. Now based upon the axle we see at this the axle is free so P1 is a single movable pulley whereas the axle of P2 is fixed to a rigid support so P2 is single fixed pulley. Part B, state the function of pulley P2. Pulley P2 is a single fixed pulley, so its function is to change the direction of effort. Moving on to part C, if the free end C, this end is C, so if the free end C of P1 moves through a distance x meter, let this be x meter, okay? Then we need to find by what distance will the load W be raised. Okay, so let us analyze it. Let this be the single movable pulley and let a load W be attached to it. Okay, now if you want to raise this weight W by x meters, then we need to have displacement x in both the ends of the string. Right. That is, if we 
apply if we move the, if we apply the same tension at both the strings and if the displacement is same on both the ends then by the same amount the w will also be raised okay so we have a relation over here that 2x equals this d okay let this be dis let this displacement be d okay so we have 2x equals d right or we can have x equal to displacement by 2 right that is if this is displaced by x meters then this will be displaced by x by 2 meters okay if it is displaced by x x that is 2x then it moves by x x distance right so if it moves by x then the corresponding displacement will be x by 2 of the weight w then moving on to the fourth part that is what effort has to be applied at c to raise l equal to 20 kgf neglecting friction so if weight or the load is 20 kgf then we need to find the effort required okay so let us have the relationship between the load and the effort from the figure we can see that w equals tt that is 2t so weight equals 2t whereas weight that is the load and effort over there equals t right so by putting t equal to e in this case w equals 2e or we can write e equals to w by 2 e uh, sorry w has been given as 20 kgf so w by 2 equals 10 kgf is the effort required to raise the load 20 kgf so this is the fourth problem of this video well doing a lot of sum will make this video unnecessarily lengthy right so i've tried to cover most of the topic by these four problems if you have any other problem you can comment down below or you can write to us at reception 01 at the gmail.com so let us solve this problem what is it it is from block and tackle system it states that a block and tackle has two pulleys in each block with the tackle tied to the hook of the lower block right so the tackle is tied to the hook of the lower block you see whenever the number of pulleys let me draw the pulley arrangement first there are two pulleys in each block okay so i have told you in the previous section that if the number of pulleys is same in both the blocks then the hook will be tied to the lower block same has been stated in the problem so we have to draw a neat diagram to show this arrangement and calculate its mechanical advantage so let us draw the arrangement the load will be over here right so this will be the load uh, let us have the hook arrangement so if the hook is tied to the lower block then the string will pass like this and it will go like this so finally it is our effort right so due to this load there will be tension in these two strings a similar tension will be over here and a similar tension will be over here so if you calculate one two three four five there are five tensions due to this load right and due to this effort there will be one tension effort equals t so we need to calculate the mechanical advantage what is mechanical advantage the ratio of load to effort that is 5t by t so that equals 5 so this is the mechanical advantage of this block and tackle system you can give a how much effort is needed to lift a load of 100 newton right we have calculated mechanical advantage is equal to 5 we have the load then what will be the effort so mechanical advantage equals load to effort so effort will equal load by mechanical advantage load is 100 newton mechanical is 5 so effort will be 20 newton by giving just 20 newton of effort you can lift 100 newton load so that's the advantage of this kind of system moving on to the third problem part that is if the load moves by a distance x meter by what distance will the free end move so we have seen the relation that if 
it will move by x distance then the effort will move by 5x distance since the load and effort are five times you can see over here so if load is going to move by d distance then effort is going to move by 5d distance so if it is x then it will be 5x meters right so friends this was it for this video more videos are coming soon till then stay tuned